Paget's disease. What is Paget's disease? Paget's disease is a localized disorder of poor remodeling that typically begins with excessive poor resorption followed by an increase in bone formation. Incidence and prevalence It is commonly diagnosed in Northern Europe, North America, Australia, New Zealand, but rare in Asia, including Malaysia. Up to 2011, there are only two cases reported in Malaysia. Prevalence increases with increasing age. It tends to occur in 2 to 9% of older adults, which occur in 3 men to every 2 women. It is a common disorder in middle aged and elderly patients. For the etiology, the exact cause is still unclear. It appears to run in a family. It can get triggered by infections such as measles virus during childhood. It also linked to genetic mutations such as SQSTM1 mutation. Paget disease can affect a single bone or a whole skeleton, most often involves skull, lumbar vertebrae, pelvis, and femur. For clinical features, most people are not aware of the disease because there is typically no symptom. They become aware after experiencing a fracture in a weakened bone. The most common symptom related to bone or joint pain. Other symptoms include swelling of joint, tenderness, or redness of the skin that cover area affected by Paget disease. Early symptoms of Paget disease include bone pain, joint pain, especially in the back, hip, and knees, and headache. Physical signs include enlargement of bone of the thigh, femur, and lower leg tibias, and enlargement of the skull in the area of the forehead. As the disease progresses, there is further bowing of the affected limbs, wedding menace of walking gait, pain and inflammation of the joint or arthritis, fractures of the affected bone, and lastly, muscle and sensory disturbances. Clinical investigation Firstly, by checking elevated level of alkaline phosphatase. Secondly, X-ray to scan light lesion during light phase or thickened bone cortices. For bone biopsy is to exclude melanosis. Paget disease begins with the lytic phase in which normal bone is reabsorbed by osteoclasts that are more numerous, are larger and have many more nuclei, starts to aggressively demineralize the bone up to 20 times more than normal. The second phase is the mixed phase. It is characterized by rapid, disorganized proliferation of newborn tissues by unusually large number of osteoblasts. The result that collagen fibers are deposited in a haphazard way. The final phase is the sclerotic phase, where the new bone formation exceeds reabsorption. The final result is bone that is structurally disorganized and therefore is weaker than normal healthy bone. Management for conservative management, anti medication, which is bisophonase, is the most common treatment used for budget disease. Second, pain relievers such as paracetamol and ibuprofen can help relieve pain caused by budget disease of bone. In some cases, surgery may need to help fracture to heal in a better position. Second, to realign the deformed bones. Third, to replace joint damage by severe arthritis. The disease is progressive and slowly worsens with time. Although people may remain minimally symptomatic, treatment is aimed at controlling symptoms but there is no cure. It occurs most frequently in the spine, skull, pelvis, femur, and lower legs. Osteogenic sarcoma can occur. It is a form of bone cancer, a rare complication of Paget's disease, occurring in less than 1% of those affected. The development of osteosarcoma may be suggested by the sudden onset or worsening pain. Paget's disease of bone can sometimes lead to further problems like arthritis, loose teeth, hearing loss, heart disease, nervous system issues, vision problems, osteosarcoma, and Paget's sarcoma. 
As we look at the prevention, Paget's disease is unavoidable for most people with the disorder. But exercise can help to maintain skeletal health, avoid weight gain, to relieve pressure on the joint, thus maintain joint mobility. Impairments and functional limitations When Paget's disease affects the facial bone, the disturbance in chewing may occur. The person may have difficulty in eating. If it affected the bone involving the tibia, femur, or estibular portion of the ileum, it will affect the functional and mobility impairments.